Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Rich. I uh, wanted to introduce you to uh, the newest thing we've been working on here in the uh, studio for about the last six months. It's based on another weapon. Well, I think I'd call it more of a toy that I saw in a class last year. Uh, but I thought the idea was, was actually pretty good, so I, I, I thought maybe we could uh, make some improvements on it and make it where you could actually use it and it wouldn't you know, break on you in your first attempt in, in, in class. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, an engineered weapon, uh, multiple pieces. It's made out of the same impact grade, grain correct hickory that I use in all my weapons, but uh, this is uh, a partial lamination. The, uh, the spars here run all the way up, and those three spars go on the handle, and then there are additional laminations uh, to, to make out the handle. It also uses a suba. Uh, the suba is removable. Uh, nice weapon, and uh, very usable weapon. This is a, a work in progress. Let me show you uh, one of the first ones we made. Uh, on paper, this looked really good. Uh, the center spar we had uh, bent in a, uh, in a sickle type shape with the intention of it would uh, uh, support the blade but still have give. Didn't use a suba on the first few I did. This one failed. Um, and it didn't fail lightly. We were playing full speed, full contact in the Aikido class and uh, the repeated striking, unfortunately it wasn't on the center section, we were striking on the last third of the blade as you, as you typically would and it broke right there. Um, again, this piece here acting as a fulcrum. Now, since then, we've trial and errored a few different things, um, and they all work just fine in, in the Ido class, but that's where there's no contact. Our intention was to make one that held up in, in full contact Aikido class, in, in Kendo class, in any environment where somebody wanted to use it. Let me give you an idea of where we're at right now um, on kind of the current model. And this isn't necessarily the final design. And this one holds up for a good six months, then maybe it's the final design then. But uh, to get around the uh, failure we had at the end, we've done a couple of things. Uh, first off, we've taken the center spar, and instead of uh, sickling it and supporting the center, we've sparred it down to support that last third. Uh, plus, we've uh, lashed the end, you kind of get an idea there. Now, under that lashing, which is a nylon type of cord, a uh, very particular kind of nylon cord, very interesting stuff, there are two quarter-inch pins as well. Now, another feature which uh, a lot of people were requesting, so we did throw on, was the suba. Uh, now, this suba is removable. It's simply held on with a, uh, a, a standard O-ring, and it's just pressed it, and I'll tell you, it just is... And we put it through some, and yet pop the ring off, and it just slides right off. As I said, this isn't necessarily the final design. Uh, this kind of has to prove itself. And it may not prove itself. This may just end up being a lightweight weapon that you can use for light contact and for old men like me with sore elbows, uh, you know, use it in regular class and maybe not have such sore elbows. Now, a work in progress. Not necessarily a done deal, and, and I want to make it clear, this is spring 2011 right now, and, and I'm not offering these yet. I, I don't know kind of where the price point will be, although I expect it'll be in the 80 to 125 range, but haven't nailed that down yet. In the end, it may prove out that this just won't function the way I want it to function. We may make these for the next year, and they all fail. This one hasn't. This one's held up really well, and we haven't been kind to this. but. Holding up really well isn't going to fly. Uh, and if you have ideas, please don't be shy. I want to emphasize again that these aren't available right now. So, so please, I, I get a lot of emails all the time asking for a lot of things, but uh, right now these I'm just not going to produce these for people until they're kind of you know where I'm happy with, them, where we can take them to the Aikido class and Kendo class or uh, uh, even uh, the local karate schools I'm working with to, to help me with these kind of things. You know, when everybody's going, wow, it's like lots of pieces and has flex, but it holds up just like a regular bokeh. When it's there, I'll, I'll announce it and we'll make them available. Understand, these aren't getting knocked out of China a hundred at a time. And we're making these one at a time in the studio. Each one has my name on it, and each one has my work in it. 
So you know, I, I really insist that it, it hold up to the standard that I, you know that, that you insist that it hold up to if you you know spend a lot of money on. It. So that's it for now. Uh, again, introducing a new idea we have here at Enso Bookie Studio, the Compound Boken. Green Correct Impact Hickory, fully functional. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, if you have ideas, please don't be shy with them. Give me your ideas. Uh, if you'd like, drop me an email. We'll leave that at the end of the video here. and uh, Or hit the site, uh, www.ensobuki.com. And uh, hey, thanks. Take it easy.